Hello, Xavier Latier here. So down below, I'm just showing that we have the VVDi2 plugged in to the computer with the GoDiag Cast 3 Plus Plus test platform, and just gonna emulate doing this by OBD. So this is all plugged into the Cast 3 unit, and although it's cool, this portion is not necessarily important. Uh, this is just to show you how, when using the VVDi2 or any program or even the IM608 or the Lawns door, um, there is risk doing an all keys lost on the CAS3++ iStap I module. Um, so yeah, it's important to know that it's possible for it to happen, but it's even more important to know how to fix it if that does happen. So up above all I've done was connect to the unit. We can see the key code, everything. And now just updating the CAS module to see that it failed. And when that fails, everything looks great before, but after it fails, it's corrupted like you see here. All right, now is the fun part. So as you saw, after connecting to the CAS module, we were able to do that easily. But after trying to get the key info, it wanted to downgrade this. Uh, it was encrypted. It's a CAS 3++ ISTAP. And when it was trying to downgrade it so it could get the key information, it failed. And when it failed, it actually corrupted the data that's on here. So that's something that's really common that can happen when doing it through OBD or even technically on the bench with the GoDiag box. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to take that corrupt data and pretty much fix this. Uh, so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to take out the CAS module and I'm gonna solder on and extract a corrupted EEPROM file and flash file and if you have the Auto IM608, you can use that pretty much for everything. But I do not. I have the KM100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder on to this using the VVDI prog. And then I'm going to save those files and upload them to the micro SD. I'm going to upload those onto the KM100 and pretty much finish the job there. Get uh, It's going to convert the corrupt files to legit new files. And now I'll be able to put that back on the computer and write it onto this CAS module and finish that up. So, yeah, we'll dive right in. All right, so we have on the VVDI prog, we have our diagram pulled up so that we can solder. We're going to use the MC9S12 cable for the VVDI prog to read the data here. So we'll get to soldering. <music> So once we got it all soldered up, according to the diagram, um, I have my VVDI prog plugged in. I flipped it upside down because I had the I always disconnect the cable, the solder before plugging it in. So it's all upside down. But I got my 12 volts, and I'm connected to the prog as well. So let's see if we have a nice first try read. So we'll go into the prog. <laughs> Chill music in the background Eddie 
last, so we're just going to save those right in there onto our SD card, and we will eject it. Alright, so with the KM100, um, we uploaded those files from the computer onto the SD card and put that in here. So to access that, the easiest way that I've seen is to go to your settings, just swipe down. We're going to go to more, we can go to storage, there's the SD card, there's my two files. We'll select both of those and then we'll click move to. There we go, an EEPROM from SD card, and we'll select move. So that will move them both. Now if I go to our internal storage, I have the EEPROM corrupt and the flash corrupt file. So yeah, it's a little bit of a pain to navigate that, as you saw, um, but that's all right. So now that we've done that, we can go into the KM100 right here. We'll go into a mobilizer, BMW. Go into manual selection. This is a BMW, the X5. So I'll say yes. And then right here, we can go into control unit, the CAS 3 or 3 plus immobilizer, and we'll go to special function, ECU repair. And this is our mask that's actually written on our uh, CAS module. So it's going to have us load the EEPROM file. We'll go back, 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 back. Let's see. Where is that? EEPROM from SD. We can do EEPROM corrupt, say OK. It's modifying the EEPROM file. So CAS3 plus EEPROM edit. So we'll just save that. Now it's going to have us load the flash file. And we are going to have to go back, back, back. Let's see, back once more. EEPROM from SD. And we're going to do the flash corrupt file. Modifying that, and now it's going to save that. So we'll save, and it looks like that's in the BMW CAS 123. I need to remember that because we have to put it back onto our SD card. All right, now write the EEPROM file and the flash file back into the ECU. So now what we'll end up doing is since we have that file, we can go to key operation, we can go to key learning and make key with file. So we'll select our mask and we'll put in our EEPROM file. There's our key code, there's our VIN number, there's everything. Say OK. And I have a blank key right here. So we'll just program this into key slot number 8. We'll select right key, and we're going to put it uh, with the engine ISN. Alright, so there is our ISN. So I'll put this key in. This one is unlocked. So we'll put that key in, we'll hit OK. This is a semi-smart key. Place the new key in the slot of the key tool, hit OK. It's writing the key. Save the new EEPROM file and hit OK to continue. So we're going to save this and it says modify I'm just gonna say new because it does have the new key programmed in so file saved successfully dealer key generated write the new file back into the cast and start the vehicle so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna write that with the VVDI prog right back into the cast module 
but just to be safe, see how there is no key selected in slot number eight? I can actually go back to that file, do the new, hit OK. There's my key code again, and key number eight has this key written into it. So when I write this file back onto the CAS module, um, it will be ready to start already. So what we're going to do here is now I save those files in a crazy location. So I'll go to more, go back to story. All right. So I just want to make sure that this was clear for you. So we can click on our SD card and then we'll just go on to our internal storage. We can click maxi app scan user data and we are in the do, 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 sorry the vehicle mobilizer BMW CAS 123 and 123 EEPROM so this has the new CAS uh, the, the new file and the new flash file so we're going to select oh we're gonna select all but not really we're gonna just take the new flash file and the new cast 3 file and then we'll go back in and say move to and then we will go onto the SD card and just move it right onto the SD card okay okay so we were able to get that SD card um, put that back on the computer as you saw and I saved both of those files back into this folder it's named Eddie blessed by the way because that's his e yeah that's his eBay name so we have the flash file and the new EEPROM file that actually has our key loaded in there um, it actually has this key programmed in already so what we're doing first and it's very important you want to select on the BBDI prog flash we loaded our flash file and we're actually writing that back on. We're going to write that on first. So we'll write the flash data on here first. And then after that, then we'll write the cast data. And at that point, um, I can throw that right back in the box and it'll be programmed and ready to go. So we'll see. I started maybe two minutes ago, 941. So we'll see uh, how long that takes. See you in a second. All right, so the flash data was successfully written. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to EEPROM. We're gonna open the new EEPROM file, which is right there. And then we will select EEPROM at the top and we'll write that back. And just to be sure, I'm gonna close out that. So EEPROM, select write, yes. There we go, and the EEPROM is written back successfully. So at this point, the module is ready to be desoldered and sent back to the customer with the key programmed and ready to go. Just to show you as well, um, this is the Go Diag plugged back into the CAS3. We're just doing a test. I'm gonna put the key in. That means that the key is programmed. Connect. And we have key number eight programmed in. And our key code and all. So we are good to go.